Good morning and welcome to Coronacation Day 23. I'm live with Andrew. 323, Corey. This is crazy. We're, and we're live. That's cool. Yeah. And mostly because the internet's actually working right now. Yeah. It's good. We could have done this all along, but my internet at home is not the best. So Andrew's been patient with me. Um, let's see. I see your hairs grow again. <laughs> kind of I've gotten lazy with the with the razor, Corey. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, we're in this month talking about humility. Um, yesterday we celebrated Palm Sunday. Dad jokes. Palm Sunday. Brian, uh, Brian T. And um, this coming week we we get to look at Jesus's death on the cross. It's going to be a big deal. Death and resurrection. Easter yeah. Sunday. Um, so Andrew, what what's been going on at home with you? Oh man, you know just all the running around, going to stores, going to parks, going to playgrounds, going to the movies. Wait, I'm just kidding. Nope, we we just we've been at home. We've uh, you know it's been going real. It's actually pretty slow, and it it's kind of nice to change of pace, and we're getting to focus on some things that we don't get to. Getting just chill as a family, um, playing together a lot, which is cool. So we, Hey, I started a garden this week, Corey. Good for you. Yeah, we're I took try a, to grow a step in that direction. Good for yeah. you. Um, well, it's spring break. So let's switch things up a little bit today, Andrew. I okay. want to play a game with you. Um, of I'm course you do. My computer. Um, I'm walking into the kitchen. Today's game is called... Put it on a cracker. I need you to okay. go to your kitchen. Okay. Grab a cracker. Um, and this is just going to be a random game that we get to enjoy together. So, okay. do you have a cracker? Yes, my boys actually had some out on the counter. So, Perfect. I got a graham cracker. Hopefully that counts. It's a cracker. Next, I need you to open up your fridge. Okay. Oh, there's Levi coming in with his bike helmet on. Oh, must have been outside playing. Yep. All right, so Andrew, this game is called Put It on a Cracker, and so you can pick three items from my fridge to okay. put on a cracker, and, and I will eat that cracker. But I'm going to do the same thing for you. So, okay. Uh, you pick one item first. Um, oh, pickles, right up there on the top shelf. You have the door, yep. Okay, yep. Uh, show me yours. Uh, ketchup, easy. Okay. Catch up. Let me put that over here. What else? What else am I eating? Um, is there any mayo in there or mustard? I know those are your two favorites. What about sour cream? You got any sour cream in there? I got two things of sour cream actually. Okay. Um, what? A, all right. Do you have any hot sauce? Oh yeah, that's down on the bottom shelf down here. Row of hot sauce. Mine's Frank's Red Hot. All right. Let's see. Last um, item. Let's see. Uh, you got any like dessert toppings or anything like uh, like cherries? You got any cherries? Cherries. Yeah. Cherries will work. And the Andrew. Um, last one. I got a red hot sauce, a red ketchup. Do you have any like red strawberry jam or strawberry syrup or anything like that? Oh yeah, I got some strawberry jam. Got some yeah, strawberry jam. It's almost out. So right, three things, yeah. crackers. Yes. Yep. Okay. Don't skip okay. out on this. Remember, you're making a wonderful cracker to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna get a spoon or uh, I'm gonna get a fork. Just gotta run the yeah. dishwasher today, Corey. If anybody wants to play this game at home, I just must warn you, it can get pretty gross. So make sure you don't be very mean to your brother or sister. Uh, see if Dad would play. Dad would love this game. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the strawberry on first. Does it matter? You don't care, do you? I don't care. You're the one eating it. Okay. Oh, these pickles are huge. Worry this. Andrew, huh. look at how big my pickle is. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> all right, let me shake this up so it can get all run. Oh, that's so nasty. Corey, I noticed that you just 
picked a bunch of red stuff. Yes. I thought it would be a good flavor combination. Cherry on top? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The hot sauce is really what I'm most worried about. Just don't overdo it. I'm worried about my pickle because it's way bigger than the whole cracker and everything put together. Okay, so do we get bonus points if we eat all this? Let me spread it around. <laughs> it's gonna be the best cracker you've had all day. Yeah. What if what if this is like a new combo and this is the thing? And like we start selling, like I start mixing <laughs> up ketchup, Frank's Red Hot, and strawberry jam, and uh, that's the new thing. I bet yours it's tastes better than mine, sauce. and I don't even like ketchup. <laughs> All right, Andrew, you ready for this? All right. Who's first? Uh, we'll do it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Hey. What? Hey, my, my is pretty good. This is good. Mine's very pickly. But that cherry really brings out the pickle flavor. <laughs> hey, no joke, I like that. That is good. But I could eat another one of those. You're crazy. All right, mm -hmm. Andrew. Um, let's good. try to come up with a combination that they can eat at home. Now, I know not everybody likes food. Some people got allergies, so they might not even be able to eat a cracker. But what could be a good combination to try? Um, mm. mustard. No, that's gross. No, 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 mustard. Because I have a reason. Okay. Like if moms, if they want to get moms and dads to try to play this with them, mm -hmm. uh, mustard is free. They're free calories. It's free calories, so it's not going to add any anything to the diet. You know, I mean, in, in, yeah, anything it's into nasty, the though. It's nasty though. Let's try to keep it not gross. <laughs> Okay, um, let's go. Well, first you got to get a cracker. Cracker. So, cracker. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Yeah, that's it's your gross. other. That's your other one that you don't like. I don't like mayonnaise or mustard. So what else would go on it? Mayonnaise, cracker. Um. What about like a can of, is it like any like can of like a tuna, like tuna or? Oh, you just pick like the grossest combinations. Andrew, I hope that you eat some amazing crackers today. Well, Why don't you play do you have? your boys? I would do like, um, I wouldn't do ketchup because I'm not a big ketchup fan, but hot sauce and jam. And then I throw in something different. So maybe like a, a little dab of chocolate syrup or a cherry on the top. I think that would be good. Not ketchup though. Oh, I lost you there, Corey. It's okay, Andrew. It's okay. <clears throat> so why don't you give it a there try we go. with your boys? You're back. Why don't you give it a try with your boys? I think you'd have a good time with it. For now though, um, we need to jump in with Sam Beam. And he's got a special word involving a mirror. What's up, four, five, six, and all stars? How are you guys doing? I am doing pretty good. I'm in my little plant plant party room. Um, I like having plants around me, and it's nice and sunny today. Uh, it was rainy yesterday, um, but I'm glad it is sunny today because I need some sun. And we are talking about something new this month, aren't we? We're talking about. Does anybody know? Say it. Say it. If you said humility, you said it right. Um, and the definition, does anybody know that yet? Humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve, right? And so I kind of wanted to show you guys what that looked like. So humility, um, it's kind of hard sometimes because we don't like giving up what we, um, what we think we deserve. So I'm going to show you an example. So a lot of the times we like to look in a mirror, right? We like to look in a mirror because we like looking at ourselves. Because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, we're kind of cool, aren't we? But that is the opposite of humility. That is pride, right? 
Pride is looking only at yourself, only at your mirror. What's the issue with looking in a mirror, guys? You can't see anything else. I can't see what's past me. I can't see if somebody needs something. I can't see if somebody needs help or anything like that. All I'm seeing is myself. And that's pride. That's an issue because when we focus on ourselves, we can't focus on others. We can't help others. Um, and we're only worried about ourselves. So does that make sense? That's kind of the opposite of humility. That's, I mean, that's pride is what it's called. We're looking at ourselves. We're worried about what we want, yada, yada. But here is humility, right? This is glass. I can see right through this. I can see you guys. Um, I can see the whole room around me. And so that's what we're practicing. We are practicing giving up what we think we deserve. We like to look at ourselves and what we want. We can fix our hair. We can look at the mustache you've been growing in quarantine. What do you guys think about that, by the way? How do you think? Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. But what we should be doing is looking more through glass, like a window, where we can see the, the whole world around us. Um, and we can give up what we think we deserve. We think we should be looking at ourselves. We think we should be taking care of ourselves and instead look at what we think the world deserves through that glass. Now, is, is doing things that you need wrong? No. It's not wrong to eat food. It's not wrong to um, relax a little bit sometimes or get some sleep. Those aren't wrong things to do, but sometimes we like to do those things a little too much and instead of maybe helping our mom clean the kitchen or helping our brothers clean up, we play video games or do something like that. And so if we're trying to practice humility, giving up what we think we deserve, then we need to stop looking at the mirror at ourselves and start looking through the glass and looking at what other people need. I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, and I will see you guys later. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Coronacation. And this is a time where I just want to be a little thankful and write a couple thank you notes. So if y'all don't mind, let's write some thank you notes. Thank you to quarantine for being able to teach me how to actually spell quarantine. Thank you to canceled events. Now I have all the time to watch all the Netflix and binge all the episodes, I mean read my Bible as much as I can. Thank you to social distancing. You have shown me that being an extrovert is completely overrated. Who needs people, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you to Corona News. You have stopped the ad political campaigns. I just saw one too many. Oh, dropped my letters. Thank you to Zoom. You have given me the gift of finally muting my friends. There's just some people that can't take a hint. And then finally, thank you to social isolation.